Aloha. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make this cartoon dinosaur that I've been making. Now it's been popular. People have been asking for I don't know why, but they've been asking for it. And the reason why I made this was due to the other designs I made before. You could check the links below where I made a turtle where it had the shell. It's similar to that, the back end, but in the front is actually based off the penguin I've been making for years. The only difference between this guy is the front of the muzzle that changes everything. So it's a spin-off. So grab your balloons and let's start twisting. To make the dinosaur, you're gonna need the following. Two 260 lime greens, one 260 white, a 350 lime green, a five inch, two five inches, one green, lime green one, and one red. And as for pens, I usually use a black, a red, and the white Eddings pen. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you two perspectives, the performance view and the audience view. The performance view is basically the view that shows what it looks like when I'm twisting, so you can kind of follow along. And the audience view is the opposite direction. So let me know which one works best for you. Needing is a 260 lime green balloon. And you're gonna make a half inch bubble or one inch bubble. And then three to four inch bubble. And you're gonna do a three body roll. So you're gonna make a matching three to four inch bubble, usually four inch bubble. And then a three and three fourths bubble. The reason why I do three, three, three and three fourths because I feed it through. So it's an easy way to feed it through so you don't have to fight for it if it's four, four, and four. Now I get a white six inch tail as well. Same thing. And you're gonna do a three body roll, but you're gonna do it in the beginning without doing the bubble. So what I do is about three inches, and then I do a four inch, then I do the matching four inches. So right now it looks like a dog, the beginning of a basic dog. But what I do is I grab the nozzle of the three and a half to three and three fourths, wrap it over the two four inches and lock it in on the other side. So it's a quick three inch, three body roll bubble. So then I do a three to four inch loop twist and another three to four inch loop twist. So it's the cheeks of the dinosaur. And now we're gonna lock the lime green balloon and then the white to the two three prongs. So what I do is I shove it in and I use the top of the green bubble that was left and I wrap it through the white on the top side and lock it in. And then on the bottom where the two pinch twists and the, the rest of the two 260 balloons, the green and the white, I twist it all together at least once. And it locks itself in place from the top with the bubble and the bottom with the pinch, the pinch twists, the cheeks. And now we're gonna do the neck. And what I do with the neck is I make, I actually come, I do a one inch bubble for both the white and the green together as one. And then on the green, I make another one inch bubble and pinch twist that. So there's a secondary bubble. And on the secondary bubble, I do pinch twist it. That's gonna be the locking place to put in the um, shell, the beginning part of the shell and the hands. So right now I'm gonna grab a 260 lime green balloon and like I said, I do a four inch tail normally, a six inch, six inch tail. So I make a bubble, a loop twist, like a two, three inch loop twist, two to three inch loop twist. And then with that bubble, I just wrap the slack around it. And then I do about a four inch shock twist. And then I'm gonna lock it into that green pinch twist that we did just earlier. And then I will connect the arms, one arm to the dinosaur. And then we're gonna reverse that by doing a shock, four inch shock twist. And then we're gonna do a four inch, three to four inch loop twist. And then I'm gonna make a bubble and I'm gonna kill the rest or you could cut from the tip. And then I'm gonna tie it where the last bubble is. And then I'm gonna wrap that scrap around, lock it in place. So right now I'm just adjusting so it kind of looks like a ghost, you can see. It can be a ghost format if it's all white. Now I'm gonna grab a five inch red round and it's gonna be about a size of an orange. And you're just flicking it, shooting it up. You could do a little flourishes here and there, it's optional. And so the nozzle of that, I'm gonna lock it into that pinch twist
And just like the turtle, I'm going to do a sidewall bubble. Not on the very back end, but a little bit, about a one inch off the side. And I'm going to just grab the green and roll it until I find the point where I'm going to just twist it together. And right when I'm there, I want to do the legs because when I wrap everything else later on, I don't want to fight with the balloon. So I want to have it as open and exposed. So I'm going to do the legs first. So I get a 350 balloon. So I make a one inch bubble and a four to five inch loop twist. I do a shock twist on the leg. You could also do this on a 260 balloon, just FYI, but I use a 350 because dinosaurs have big legs. And then I will lock it in between the, where the pinch twist is and that green balloon. And then I'm going to reverse what I did with the leg. So I did a shock, a four to five inch shock. But what I did was a two inch loop twist first, but it's optional. You could do a loop twist, I mean, a pinch twist. And then I did the loop twist, but you can do the loop twist first and then do the pinch twist. It's optional, whatever way you want to do. As long as you get to the same destination, it's up to you. So right now I'm tearing, I cut it at the end, and then I'm tying it, and then I'm just wrapping it around the leg. And then I'm cutting the rest of the slack. Yeah, those scissors are dull, so I'm not fighting it. Those are not my work scissors. And then for my tail, I just did another shock twist to make it curve. And then with the leftover of the white, I'm going to squeeze it and I'm going to wrap it around on the bottom of the five inch round. Just wrap it around nice and snug. And what it'll do is it'll lock itself in place because of the five inch round from the top will hold it and then the bottom will, will just wrap it around. So it's a cool, nice way of making a shell three dimensional. And then I just put the slack in, just hide it in between the shell and you know, it's a quick hide. And I'm just cleaning up now. I'm shock twisting the tail again. And then I'm going to tie the end and then kill that part, snip it. And this is almost done. Just one more thing is the muzzle. Oh, but also what I'm telling you right now is that red sideball bubble, I'm hiding it in between the underneath the shell and between the green. 260 on the shell just to hide it just in case it's optional but if you're in a hurry you don't need to so looking at that I usually give it to the kids so they're a little bit disappointed because all I have to do is add this green guy so this one's a little bit smaller than an orange but it's about the right size so what I do is I just slowly put it together and when you put it together oh, Sorry, audience view don't see it. <laughs> Performance view sees it. It it totally turns into a new dimension just immediately. It's pretty trippy when I first created it. I, was, I freaked out when I saw that. I went, oh, I was like, that's so awesome. I got a new character. But yeah, so. So now we're going to do the drawings. So I use a black Sharpie. I use a super Sharpie because it fills the eyes a lot quicker. You can use a chisel one but I prefer the Super Sharpie. So I just make a quick oval here, another oval there. Doing it upside down is a cool tip where it actually, you get both eyes actually more perfect when it's upside down. I don't know why it's a psychological thing that I think of. And then you make a nose. So I just make a dash on two sides and then I make a little circle in the, in the inside, just a small little circle, kind of make the nostril part. And then for the mouth, I make a line, like a curved line, and then I make a big U, and then I make a tongue, as you can see. And then I fill in between the tongue and the um, that line, the curved line. And then for the tongue, of course, you use red. But if you want the red to explode even more brighter, you would use the white eddings. So you fill in the white eddings. And then you have to wait for a good 30 seconds and then you add the red on top and it pops even more. It's kind of like a, when you're painting, you prime the color and then you add the red on. But in the bright light, it's fine. But this is the eddings that I'm going to be using, but I'm not going to use it for the tongue. I'm going to use it for the eyes and give it that 
glossy look. So I make a big dot on the upper right and two small dots right next to it on both sides. Let's keep it symmetry. The both eyes are exactly the same way. And you can see it right there. That's done. All right. That's the video for today. So if you like what you saw or you have any comments or questions, feel free to let me know down at the bottom in the comment section. Also, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get my the next latest uploads. Like I said, I plan to do a video once a week. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to see. So see you next week.